Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your another reading for September. You know, let's get this party started. Okay, that is very prominent. I wanted to say it instantly. Let's, let, let's get this party started, Aries. So I don't know what is happening. But whatever it is, it's probably it's it looks like it looks like it's gonna be fun. It looks like there's some sort of party or there's some sort of it's time to live again or something like that because I just could not wait to say that to you. Aries is up next. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And, you know, I got up from my nap <laughs> all refreshed. And I was like, I sat down here and it's like, where am I going to start? Where am I going to Aries. Aries, this is where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with Aries tonight. And we're going to do you and the other person. So you pick a side. Keep in mind that this is for September. A lot of people don't get it. But, well, I'm not, whatever. Anyhow, this is for the month of September. Could be a happen at any time. But I was like, okay, let's get this party started. So, that is for you. You and somebody that you're thinking about. So you think about somebody. You're thinking about somebody when I'm doing this reading. This is for you and the other person, Aries. If you don't have anybody in your life, this could be somebody that's coming in. Well, we got two. Should we take them? Yeah, I think we probably will. What do we got? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Ooh, getting to know each other. You're going to be getting to know somebody, Aries. You are. Let me get another stand here. Uh, let's make it match up since this is going to be some sort of partnership by the looks of things. Okay, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. We're just going to get this right out of the way. Keep in mind that there are everything is a message in itself. Everything that happens during a reading that I do for you is a message for you. It has something to do with what is going to be happening for you. You're going to have to remove that one that doesn't fit. Okay, it doesn't fit. It just doesn't fit anymore. I'm sorry, it's not going to work out. But these two match. So, looks as though you may meet your match or you're coming together with your match. It's not going to be one. It's going to be two. <laughs> no joke. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you may be deeping, deepening a bond with somebody that you are attracted to. They are attracted to you. There's some sort of mutual attraction here. It looks as though you could be a really good match. It's not meant to be one. It's meant to be two. Um, what do we got for Aries for September? I think this is fairly new because you're getting to know somebody. Ooh, now this is a juggler. This is making a change, making a decision, trying to find balance. Being flexible. I, somebody is about ready to take the next step. So somebody is about to take the next step. We got somebody here that it... <clears throat> that is about to take the next step. Ooh, this is an offer of love. Welcome offer. We got somebody over here that may be crushing on this person. This person's juggling the demands of life right now, right? This person is trying to be flexible, trying to get keep things under control. This person may be experiencing some chaos. This person has their eye on them. This person is is crushing, you know? Ooh, golden opportunity here. This is an opportunity. You may not see it yet. You may not see it yet, but it looks like it's a big one. You may have to go through some doorway to get it or to see it. 
So to, you may have to go down some sort of path or go down, go through some archway or go through some doorway to get this golden opportunity to really see the opportunity. Here we, we're going to go over here. Ooh, tower. This is life change. This person has probably experienced some sort of major change in their life. And they may be building themselves back up from the ground up. Hmm. An ending, a death. This is a death of something. So it looks to me as we have somebody here that is following the heart. There is some sort of major disruption here that ends something. I mean, that's what this is. That is what that is. I mean, you can't, you know, people don't want to hear that, but that is what that is. So this is a heartfelt message or a heartfelt feeling. This is disruption, disorder, a major life change. Something has ended. Somebody's suffering has ended. Maybe they're opening their heart again. Maybe they have already experienced this. Um, this is an offer. This is a, a wanting a relationship, wanting romance. And now this is the offer. This is, this is an opportunity to start over. So something has crumbled. This person is ready to start over. From the beginning, it's like there's an opportunity to start over from the beginning and rebuild a new foundation after some sort of painful ending. Now it's like, I'm, I want a ro relationship. I want romance. I want love. Somebody's looking for love. This person is looking for love. They have experienced something painful. And it's like, now they're ready to go down that new path. So this person, I feel like, has already... Um, experience some sort of disruption. Let's go back over here. Oh, this person is independent and doing well. Doing very well. This person could be a business owner. This person is very self-sufficient. This person is enjoying life. This person is abundant. This person has their shit together. But they're trying to... They may have a lot on their plate. They may have a lot on their plate. This person is very well put together and they're focused on their coin they're focused on their money obviously this person is very much focused on um, their security and their stability and now we got a new beginning here this is this is you know a completion a major completion this person has graduated this person has a lot of light has gained some sort of life experience this person has life experience this person has traveled a long way this person has come to the end of a phase and they have gained a lot of strength and knowledge and skill along the way so put it that way this person has a lot of skill This is a major new beginning here. This is a completion, a big one. Some This could be a completion of being single. Now you got this opportunity being offered to you. It's an, and it's a solid one. One becomes two. <laughs> okay. So one becomes two and one becomes two. So this could be the end. This could be the end of independence for somebody. This person is overwhelmed. This person does work a lot. This person is carrying a heavy load. They may be focusing on something that hurt them and not realizing that there's an opportunity for love. Or they may not be looking for love because they're so good on their own. This person is very, very happy with their independence. And that's why this this hasn't been seen yet. It's like the opportunity, you haven't seen this opportunity yet. You haven't seen the stability or the solidity of this opportunity. Um, this right here is burdened by pain. We got somebody here that is burdened by pain. They're not looking for love. So yeah, we got somebody here over here that's not looking for love. Ooh, the Empress reversed. This person is still burdened by pain. Okay, burdened by pain. The Empress hasn't delivered her pain yet if she's in reversed. So this person is still harboring some pain. Okay, she hasn't, you know, delivered it yet. She hasn't. She hasn't. She 
this this or he well yeah this could be either or I don't I don't feel strongly that it could be male or female it could be either or this person is still harboring some pain they're carrying it carrying around some sort of baggage that they need to release okay and they're still not focused on a relationship but it's like it's here whether you like it or not because this person has a crush this person is looking over here like oh look ooh, ooh. this person is definitely wanting this this person is wanting this person to give them a chance um, ooh, well king and queen of cups reversed I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus because Taurus had very similar cards. Um, this person has probably um, shut down emotionally to somebody in their past. This person um, is feeling like they can't master their emotions. This person is very intense. This person is very emotional. This person... Um, is this person may be feeling unstable I just gotta be honest with you this person has experienced some sort of suffering from another partnership and but they do want to build a new foundation with somebody they do this could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio over here it could be it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, <laughs> could be you whichever side is you you know this is somebody who is shut down emotionally for a period of time because of the, the disruption that they have had in their life this person is or has or is emotionally unavailable I can't I can't pretend but they want a relationship they want to become available again hmm it's like they want romance, but they're still suffering. But this is the end of suffering, okay? This is the end of suffering. So this person may be ending their suffering over, you know, a partnership where their partner was emotionally unavailable and they're ready to start over and build a new foundation with somebody who is emotionally available. I got it. I got it. So this person is ready. They're ready. Um... So, let's get some more cards. There's somebody coming in. This person is about to make some sort of move. Okay? This person is the one that's making the move. The one that experienced this major disruption. This person is going to be the one that makes the move. Um, they're they're going to make the decision. It's like they are going to make the decision. They've been restricting themselves. But I think they're ready to step out of their safety zone. And they have been. They've been shut down. But they're ready to step outside of their safety zone. Ooh. I don't, what, hold on. This person has experienced a, a loss that has kept them stuck for quite some time. This could be a breakup. This could be a breakup. Somebody could be breaking up with one. <laughs> Got to be honest with you. They could be they could be leaving somebody that they're not in love with, that they're that they don't have any feelings for because they see another opportunity. I just got to be honest with you. Maybe maybe they realize that it's a false sense of security, that's a false foundation and they decide to end it. Okay, this is the end of a partnership, end of a partnership. It really is. And these are both twos. They're both reversed. This is a false partnership. It's, so somebody is ending a false partnership. They are. Because they want something real. They want big love. They want. They see an opportunity for love. A big love. They, and this is seizing the new opportunity. So yes. This person is finally letting go of a unrequited love situation maybe they've been holding on to it for quite some time I don't know but it's, they see an opportunity for love and they are about to take action that's what I see this person is kind this person is gentle this person is wanting a real love relationship and they were in one before where it, it wasn't compatible it wasn't compatible it wasn't 
but now they see they're taking the new opportunity or they're, they're about to take action. This person is going to be the one that takes action. I know it. I know it. It's the end of suffering. Yep, that's what's going on here. The waiting is over for this person. This person's not expecting it. They're not prepared for it. This person is working on themselves. They're doing quite well. You know, they've completed a chapter in their life. They're doing, they're, they're, they're traveling. They're setting up travel. They're expanding themselves. They're quite content on their own. They're not looking for it. They're not prepared for it. They're avoiding it. They're avoiding challenge right now because they're still dealing with some sort of pain within themselves. They have great personal fear. You know, that's why they're focused on themselves. I'm good on my own. Um... And now we, I think we have somebody that is competing for their attention. Somebody wants their attention. And it's going to cause this person to be indecisive. This person is going to be indecisive because they're so good on their own. This person may be feel, feel overwhelmed that now they, that this person, this person wants them to give them a chance because they weren't looking for it. They weren't looking for it. Um... <laughs> there's un unseen forces here okay there's something that you don't see that is coming okay you don't see it but it's coming could happen right around the full moon the full moon is September 14th this is a completion of independence around this full moon and it's, and I feel like you may feel like you're being attacked. You may feel like, you may feel like this is too much. This is overwhelming for you. You may feel like you want to push this person away because you totally, totally, totally were not expecting it. You weren't seeing the opportunity. It's like, and this is not seeing the opportunity. It's like, and now you got this big golden opportunity from this person over here that probably wants you to give them a chance. So, Aries, I feel as though this person over here has experienced some major upheaval in their life. And they're making great strides to, you know, open up again. They're making, they're making an, an advance, you know, they're taking a step towards you in hopes that you will give them a chance. Um, I feel like this person is is a kind, gentle person. I feel like this person has good intentions. I think whoever they were dealing with in the past, it was not compatible and they're hurt. They're still, there's, they, they've been through some serious pain, but I do feel like they're ready to start over. And I think that they, they're willing to do whatever it takes. I think that they are going to, um, They're going to, this is heartfelt, okay? They're going to communicate to you heartfeltly. You can't think of the word, you know, through their heart. Whatever they say is real and it's heartfelt, okay? They're not a bullshitter, whoever this person is, all right? They're not a bullshitter. They're not. They're not. They've been hurt. They know what pain feels like. This person knows what pain feels like. Um, look at that. King of Pentacles reversed. I feel like this person is afraid of being rejected. This person may feel like he, they don't have enough to offer. They may not. They may not have a lot to offer financially. But whatever they have to offer can grow. It can grow. This person is very, very, very attracted. This person um, may have some unhealthy habits. I'm just being honest with you. This person may have some addictions. Okay. And, and everybody has addictions. So 
Don't pretend that you don't. Don't, please. Even food is an addiction. Spending is addiction. The internet is an addiction. Drugs are an addiction. Codependency is an addiction. So don't pretend that you are above all and you don't have any because you do. So this person may have some unhealthy habits which cost them money. But this person is loyal. And this person is kind. So... Anyhow, I feel as though Aries, there is some sort of attraction. This person is deeply attracted to this person, and I feel like they are going to make some sort of offer. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's what I see over here, this person. Okay. This person over here is not looking for it. They don't see it coming. They're good on their own. And boom, here it is. This person is so attracted that they can't stop themselves. This is a dream come true. This is a blessing. This is heaven sent. So this is uh, a gift, okay? This is a gift. This is an, this person is is going to this person is going to see this person's brightness. This person's ability. This person's light. This person is very very. This person is glowing, this person is shining, and this person can't keep their eyes off of them. And that's what I see. So I feel like there's this person is going to receive some sort of wish fulfillment that they probably were not looking for at this time in their life. There's an op I think that this person is, is probably going to, you know, head into a, it's like a new world. Okay, this is the world card. This person is a is about to experience a whole new world. This is a time of hope. It's a time of healing. It's a time of inspiration. This is what you've been waiting for. And even though you may not think that you want it, here it is. Here it is. So this person is about to receive something that they probably thought was never going to come. And that's what I got. Good luck.